All right, boys and girls, your activity today is called Deck of Fitness. And for today's activity, all you're going to need is your body and a standard deck of playing cards. Okay, if you don't have a standard deck of playing cards, that's okay. Ask your learning coach or your parent um, to help you um, write down the cards on some paper to make your own cards. Okay, so you can make your own cards for this game if you do not have a standard deck of cards. Okay, really easy to play this game. What you're going to do is you're going to draw a card off the top and whatever um, suit you pull. So for example, this is a spade. You are going to do the equivalent type of exercise for that suit. And the number that you get is the number of repetitions, the number of times you need to do that exercise. Okay, so if I draw this card, I'm going to do the exercise for spades and I'm going to do it two times. If you draw a face card, so a card like this king, you're going to do the exercise 10 times. If you are lucky and you draw an ace, like this ace of spades right here, you're going to do your exercise 10 times. Any other card is just the number on the card, so this would be a 9. Okay. Now, I'm going to go over the four um, different spades, or different suits, and the exercises that you are going to do in order to complete those, um, those suits, in order to, to complete the card. Okay. And I'm also going to, on the next slide, I'm going to put up um, the directions um, on how to do this. They're written out directions, and they have on there what each suit, what exercise you're going to do for each of the four different suits. So hearts. If you draw a card with a heart on it, you are going to do the number of times that you drew, um, and you're going to do jumping jacks. Okay, so jumping jacks just like this. All right. If you draw a club, that one looks like a three-leaf clover. If you draw a club, you are going to do however many you draw. You do that many push-ups. So you're going to get into the push-up position. Remember, we want a straight line from our shoulders all the way down to our heels. Arms shoulder width apart, lower down, and back up. Your elbows should bend to a 90 degree angle. See that right angle right there. Okay, if you draw a diamond, that's another red card, you're gonna do invisible jump rope jumps. So you're gonna take your invisible jump rope, don't forget to turn it, and you're gonna jump. Okay, and finally with spades, the other black suit, you are going to do squats. So for your squats, I want your feet shoulder width apart. I want your back nice and straight. You can put your hands out in front of you for balance. And you're just going to lower yourself down like you're sitting in a chair, keeping your back up straight. Don't let your bottom go below your knees. So it's down and up, down and up. And remember, keep your bottom above your knees. All right, so those are the four suits and the exercises you're going to complete in order to do the exercises. All right, so what you're going to do, there's a couple ways you can play this. You can set yourself a timer and see how many cards you can collect within that set amount of time. I would suggest doing one or two minutes to start just to see what you can do. So when you're ready, you start your timer. You run out, you grab a card, I got a six of spades, so I would do six squats, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I would go get another card, draw it again, queen of hearts, so I would do ten push-ups, no, sorry, ten jumping jacks, hearts are jumping jacks, so I would do ten jumping jacks. And then I'm going to collect my cards. And I want to see how many completed cards I can get in my time limit, whatever time limit I set. Okay? If you play that way, you can challenge yourself. Okay? In this two-minute span, I got six cards. Now if I play again, how many cards can I get this time? 
Okay, the other way that you can play is to play against somebody. Okay, your learning coach, your parents, your grandparents, your aunt, uncle, cousin. Um, if you're at a daycare, the other kids that are there with you. It doesn't matter how many people play. You still need a deck of cards. You're going to set a time limit. Okay, or if you're really brave, you can go until all 52 cards are done. Okay, but what you'll do is when you say go, you'll run out. Everybody will run out, get their own card, take it back to your area where you will complete your exercise. Okay, when you finish that exercise, put it down, go get another one. Okay, either when you run out of cards or when your time is up, whoever has completed the most exercises and has the cards collected wins the game. Okay, now. What I really want you to remember, this is very important, do not sacrifice or give up your form in order to go faster, okay? The reason we keep our, our good form is to help protect our bodies to do things the right way so we don't get injured, okay? So make sure you're not rushing through things. Do your exercises correctly so that you can get more cards and get better and do better and keep your body safe. Don't go too fast that you're doing things incorrect because you might get hurt or you might learn bad habits and we don't want that. So don't sacrifice your, your correctness, your correct form um, of your exercise to go faster. And lastly, if you're looking for a way to make this even more fun, play music while you play. All right. Jam out, dance a little bit, have a good time. All right, boys and girls, that is Cards of Activity or uh, sorry, deck of fitness. Um, and that's an easy game for you to play. I hope that you have fun and I will see you in a few minutes for, uh, to say goodbye.